Hey guys, what's going on? Jeff's Reef Tank here. Giving you an update on my 300 gallon office tank. So, as you can see, there are no more frag racks in the main display. So, we've got all of the corals and all of the frags that were overgrowing the frag racks. I put them on little pieces of rubble rock uh, depending on the size of the coral. Uh, this way I can uh, just see how it encrusts, see how fast it's growing, um, be able to move the corals around as necessary. A lot of them have on the sand bed here, um, but most of them I have on, uh, on the rockscape, moved it around as much as possible. Um, and yeah, so this is the first step before I decide where they're finally gonna be placed. Um, some of them are really small frags, so I'm not sure how the coral will grow out, whether it be encrusting or it will be branching or it be tabling. So if it's going to table, I want to make sure I put it in the right spot. So I'd like to see a little more growth on these little rubber rocks just to see how they go. Some of them are pretty obvious, like this Monty here, um, you know, pretty much how it's going to grow out similar to this one which I did decide to put on the actual rock um, but everything else most of the other items are just placed on small pieces of rock that eventually I can secure to the main rock system uh, depending on how they grow out so finally took over a little over uh, four weeks to do this over a hundred frags so um, you can see I put like an encrusting frag on this piece of PVC and uh, pretty much everything else has a base now uh, besides what's encrusted onto the rock uh, directly and that's pretty much going to stay there um, but yeah so spin you around to the other side so let's get another perspective um, so bigger pieces like this I didn't really put on anything yet because I can easily uh, place that on on a rock but um, everything from the smaller frags to the larger ones I uh, did place on pieces of rubber rock. So we'll see how that grows out. Uh, some of the rubber rock was in my sump, other rubber rock I had in the back room. So um, getting a little new tank syndrome on the larger pieces and uh, everything else is looking good. And yeah, so this is the next step in my process. So let's pan back a little bit so you can see. Um, but everything else is uh, going well. I do have, still have this green cyano. I just stood up the sand bed, but uh, it's really, uh, really started wreaking havoc on everything that was on. The frag racks ended up killing some corals because it um, took over the actual acro and grew on top of the acro. So. I'm hoping that's not going to get too much out of hand here, but you can see it a little bit here, right in the middle of the screen. Um, anything that's green is that cyano starting to grow onto the rubber rock. But uh, other than that, I uh, plan on uh, eventually putting everything on the rock like this one. This one I kept the frag plug because it was really overgrown, but um, I really want to be able to have it so eventually if it starts to um, battle with another coral that I end up putting next to it, I can easily pop it off, easierly pop it off the rack um, and move it somewhere else because um, it it's, will have time to grow into the rubber rock first and I will just, when I secure it, I wouldn't secure it too um, sturdily so I can actually get it back off later if I have to move things around um, depending on how things start to grow out. But, that's the latest right now as far as the tank goes. Everything is pretty much doing well. I do have, uh, as you can see, a lot more new fish in here. Um, still reading zero nitrates and zero phosphates. Um, some of the coral actually started bleaching out and losing its color. Give an example here like that uh, Monty there, plating Monty that's supposed to be green. Uh, it's far from it. So. I uh, just decided to get some more fish. I uh, got a couple of antheists, uh, liar tail antheists. Uh, there's actually four in here, but uh, one of them is uh, 
hiding since it's been put in the tank. But other than that, uh, nasal tang, for those who didn't see, this is a big guy to have here as well, new addition. Plenty of chromis, uh, schooling, make nice addition to the tank for flow. And uh, I do have some more fish that I added to my three frag tanks here. But that'll be another video where I'll be able to tell you a little bit more about what those are. But just getting those guys acclimated and I'll let you know where I got them from. It's a local guy here in uh, New York City. But they had a really good quality fish and uh, bought them online but um, ended up going in person to uh, pick them up. So other than that, everything is going good. Just doing some routine maintenance and this is the update for uh, January slash February. 2019. Hope everybody's tanks are doing well and thank you for following along. See you guys on the next one.